All right, now the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is here and looking at this phone, you may think that this is almost the same as the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and you might be under the impression that Samsung did not change much on this phone. But hear me out. There are many improvements and enhancements on this device which makes it a much better successor to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. First, if you are coming from any of the Z Fold series, may it be Z Fold 5 or Z Fold 4, you will instantly feel the difference when you hold the Z Fold 6 in your hands. Because the weight is so well balanced on this phone compared to its predecessor. Now the weight is 239 grams compared to 253 grams on the Z Fold 5 and 263 grams on Z Fold 4. The difference in numbers may seem less but the in-hand feel has so much improved on this phone. It feels light and feels comfortable to hold. And the sharp corners you see here may interest some of the Yes Ultra users out there. It looks much better in my opinion. Next, I always had a problem typing on the keyboard on the cover screen of this phone. Because it's a narrow screen, it is not the regular aspect ratio that we get on the regular phones. And for me, while typing, it has always been a hit and miss. However, now it is a tad bit better, it has improved thanks to a slightly wider cover screen here. I wish this was a little bit more wider because most of the times we use the cover screen to respond to messages, emails or anything instantly. We may not want to open the main screen and start typing, right? Next, the crease on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has improved a bit. It is less noticeable now, especially consuming the media content is much better now. And when you use that Yes Pen on the screen, the crease will not bother you as much as it did on the previous iterations of Galaxy Z Folds. Next, the battery on the Z Fold 6 is as same as Z Fold 5. It's 4400 mAh capacity. And compared to the predecessor, we may get slightly better battery life and I will tell you why. First thing is the refresh rate on this display. On the previous versions, we had 120Hz adaptive refresh rate, which could go down only up to 48Hz and that consumes some battery. But when it comes to the Galaxy Z Fold 5, the adaptive refresh rate is 1 to 120Hz, which means it can go all the way down to 1Hz depending on your usage on the screen. So that should save some amount of battery. And the Z Fold 6 now comes with 1.6x larger vapor chamber, which is great for gaming. While gaming, the heat will be contained very well, which in turn may result in slightly better battery life. So the battery performance should be a little better despite having the same size battery compared to the predecessor. Next, another big upgrade is we are now getting IP48 rating for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. All this while we only had IP08, which means it is not only protected from water, it is also protected from objects which is more than one millimeter thick. Since this has a folding mechanism, there are chances that your keys or credit card or anything can get stuck inside the phone when it is folded. When that happens, the phone will not get damaged. Now let's talk a bit about the build quality as well. The reduction in weight does not come at any expense of durability here on this phone. The hinge mechanism on this phone has improved a bit compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5 or any other predecessors and the quality of materials used on this phone is just brilliant. We have got Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection on both the front and back of the phone and it also rocks armor aluminium frame. Overall the phone's build quality is rock solid and that's a very important thing which distinguishes this phone from other competitors out there. Another improvement or upgrade we have got on this phone is the brightness on the screen. Now the brightness can go up to 26 100 nits, which makes it very easy to use this phone in brightly lit conditions. Next, we do have a brand new processor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 made for Galaxy, which offers 19% better GPU performance, 42% better NPU performance, and an 18% increased CPU performance, which definitely makes this device very, very powerful. These are some of the main upgrades we are getting on this phone, but there is one area the phone still has the same specification compared to the predecessor is the camera department, where we still have 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, 50 megapixel wide angle camera and 10 megapixel telephoto camera. So there is no change in the camera department here. Maybe adding bigger sensors or the zoom sensors will consume a lot of space on the phone and that may be the reason Samsung is not adding such sensors or maybe they are reserving it for the future upgrades. So let's wait and see what happens in the next iteration. So this is one area I am not very happy about. We still have the same cameras and the other thing to note here is the Yes Pen is not integrated inside this phone. We still have to get a separate case with the S Pen. So if you want to use the phone without the case, you cannot really have an S Pen with this phone. But most of us use the case, so we might as well get a case with the S Pen. Now coming to the software side of it, we have got some brand new features on One UI 6.1.1 on this phone. We have got something called Composer on the keyboard, using which we will be able to convert a short text prompt into a large format of text. This will be very useful in creating uh, email drafts, sending polished messages, etc. And this Composer is integrated into the keyboard itself. Now we don't really have to go back to any other AI chatbots to create these contents. We will be able to do it right there on the Samsung keyboard.
Next, Samsung has integrated the recording feature on the Samsung Notes application on One UI 6.1.1. Now we will be able to record the voice, transcribe and summarize within the notes application itself. Next brilliant feature is called sketch to image. We can bring our imaginations to life by using this feature. You can draw anything you want on the canvas and uh, you can ask the AI to convert that drawing into an image. It will instantly do it for you and you will get some choices as well. So if you're not good at drawing, then this is gonna be very, very helpful for you guys. You can also draw on an existing image and convert that drawing into an object or any image, which looks just fantastic. Next, we have got a feature where we can convert the uh, portrait image into a 3D cartoon, sketch, watercolor, or cosmic images, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. And now on the Z45, using this form factor, we'll be able to use the translator in a better way. Whenever you are conversating with another person who doesn't understand your language, and if you want to communicate something, you can use the translator feature on the phone. And you can place the phone in such a way that uh, the cover display is facing the uh, person whom you want to communicate to, and he'll be able to instantly see whatever you're communicating on this cover display. That's a thoughtfully executed feature for the Fold series. Now, apart from these, we do have all the other AI features which were made available on One UI 6.1. So definitely, there is a lot of improvements when it comes to the operating system or the software side of this phone. So all in all, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is a complete package, a better package compared to the previous year's uh, Galaxy Z Fold 5. We now have IP48 rating on this phone. We've got a better display offering up to 2600 peak brightness and a varying refresh rate up to 1 hertz, a slightly improved battery. So this makes this phone a better deal compared to the predecessors and to complement that all we've got one UI 6.1.1 with some brand new features so this makes this phone a good foldable in 2024 now i will be switching from the galaxy s24 ultra and i will start using the z fold 6 and share my experience with you guys in the next few weeks i am definitely going to miss the cameras and i will miss the typing experience as well so let me come back to you with a full review after a few weeks and i'll also post a battery test results on this device very soon so stay tuned and maybe i will also make some videos on the uh, software side of it so stay tuned for those videos as well be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is salyan signing off cheers bye bye